All right, what it is, what it do. It's Lamar KX, and I'm back here with you. Finally got the bike back. We're in the garage. We're chilling. It's hot as hell. To be accurate, it's currently 93 degrees, you guys. I just met one of my neighbors right here. He's pretty chill. He's pretty cool. Uh, his daughter and my son are the same age, so they're going to be going to school together. Except Angie won't be going to school with her long. Because, yeah, we leave here sooner than you guys may think. So, yeah, you guys are going to be traveling with us an awful lot. So, yeah, right now what I'm doing right now, I'm changing the oil to the dirt bike. And I'm doing an oil change. That was one of my neighbors right there. Hopefully that wasn't the cops. But, yeah, right now I'm changing the oil to my dirt bike. Okay, so check this out, you guys. The movers stole half of our shit. Literally. So we're missing three couches. They took the, they took the two leather ones and the black couch. I chilled in the garage. They took that. You guys, they even took my dirt bike uh, goggles. They took that. They took my dirt bike mask. I still got one. They didn't take the helmets. I'm thankful for that. Dude, they even took our TV stand. They took like different parts of our television stand. And we knew they were trying to steal it because they took one of the glass, but then they took the opposite stand for it. So that didn't work out for me. Yeah, no worries. Me and Jennifer have decided from now on, we are totally just gonna move our own stuff. So if you guys are watching this and you're in the military or possibly thinking about getting in the military or know someone in the military about to do their first move, if I had to give any advice, I would say do not let the movers touch your stuff. Cause what they're gonna do, they're gonna steal that shit. I'm gonna be honest, they're gonna steal that shit. They're not even gonna think twice. They're just gonna steal that shit. And yeah, so we were kind of sketched on that, but I actually have an idea for the next time if we decide to let the movers do it, I'm gonna put app, uh, Apple Watch tag in my shit. So I can pretty much track and know exactly where my stuff is sitting and where the location is to give me a good idea. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil poured in there and I guess you guys can see me do that. Yeah, you guys wanna watch me do that. Let me go get my headband for the... Okay, Lamar KX and we are back here. It took me a minute, I had to put my little yeah, my little headband on, but uh, damn, what was I doing? Oh, oil. Okay, make sure this is in, yep. Make sure the bottom oil pan is, oh, that was not in. <laughs> oh man, would have really screwed ourselves there. But yeah, man, so far the neighborhood is pretty chill. It's pretty quiet out here. And I actually like this neighborhood, but you know what's funny? It's always the ones that you like that you're not very, that you're not at very long. And the ones you kind of okay with but don't care for, you're probably at there as the longest, but that's pretty cool. Now, what would be interesting, it, but we should know where we're headed. But somebody told me if we get Alaska to enjoy it, I was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't, don't want to go to Alaska, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I just left the barbershop though. My girl was like, Jennifer hit me up and said, y'all want to tell me y'all got haircuts? Well, the goal was to surprise you, but I get, I guess she must have saw it when I put it on my story. But that, that, but that's how you know they don't be doing shit. Cause I, I be thinking in my head, how the how the hell did you even get on? Uh, I want to say I put the oil in this one. How the hell did you even get on social media to know what we were doing? But I'm telling you, bro, if a female ain't got time for nothing else, they got time to check your social media. Trust me. Trust and believe. Wait a minute, this ain't the oil. Oh shit, this the lawnmower oil. Oh fuck. Where's the other oil? We're missing oil, cause I'm glad I look. Oh, the oil right there. I was about to say, bro, I would've messed around and poured lawnmower oil in a dirt bike. Would've been over for me. There we go. All right, let's get, wait. Let's check the little clear meter. Yep, she's pretty clear, she's pretty empty. We're gonna load her up. I, like I said, I would take her for a test drive, but dude, it is so hot. Like, it is balls to the walls, ass cheeks hot. Like, it's like disgusting hot out here, dude, but whatever. Now, let's get this oil. Oh yeah, and I met another guy. Oh yeah, I rode down and I promoted my YouTube channel at the Dirt Bike Place, and one of the guys said he was gonna check me out at the place, at the uh, Dirt Bike Place. So yeah, everywhere I go, you know, just promote the YouTube for the most part. And that's kind of what I do on my part-time slash full-time, kind of like a YouTuber. Shit, the, the goal is one day, but I probably won't tell like the grown does. Cause the last neighborhood, like I said, I didn't really like that neighborhood too much. Cause it was a bunch of like old people, like senior citizens old. And they were dicks. Like I said, 
When Bill called the police on me, that, that really just fucked me up. But I could tell in a neighborhood like this, dude, I'm not gonna have any problems with anyone. Like, the, the streets are spread out. Every, like, I, I could tell I'm not gonna have any problems with anyone. It's gonna be pretty chill. The key is now with me just staying quiet. I don't wanna be too loud. Cause I said, it's pretty quiet out here. He was like, oh yeah. So I was like, I caught that hint to, yeah, and you should be quiet too. <laughs> So yeah, I caught that hint. And I think this auto oil I'm gonna put in just a little bit under. We're gonna check the clear level. Let's see. I swear sometimes when I put oil in here, I don't be seeing nothing. Is that just me? Am I the only one that happens to? Well, I'm pretty sure that's good. Yeah, that, that's good. Screw that. <laughs> that I do. So now what we're gonna do, cause I think one time I poured like all of it in there. I'm not really too for sure if I should have did that, but yeah, whatever. But, and I actually got to put my car in the shop, you guys. So let me tell you what happened. I was, uh, I got out the car to do something yesterday. My son was in the car, came back to the car and I heard like a slight rattle with my car. Hell yeah, it sounded like something was loose. I was like, oh fuck no. So we're gonna go get that looked at and fixed immediately. Oh shit. But if I remember correctly, the neighbor said he's military as well. Cause he said he's been here for about three months. So they, they really haven't been there that long. They shit, they've been here as long as we have. Yeah, he asked us, do we have kids or anything? I said, yeah, I have a six year old, name's Andrew. And I have a wife, but other than that, that's about it. We're still like new to the area, trying to learn everything. Figure things out. But yeah. Do I want to get stationed here long-term? Fuck no. But now if they send us anywhere, I would want to move to Etho. Hell yeah. Those neighbors seem pretty cool. But yeah, as I ride around, dude, I'm gonna totally promote the YouTube channel. I'm like, hey, Lamar KX on YouTube. So if you guys watch YouTube, check me out. But hell yeah, I got this put up. At least they didn't take my fucking helmet. Happy about that. But then to take my goggles, dude, and these goggles, like I said, they're 35 a pair. 35 to 50 a pair. And to, yeah, and I went through all my stuff. Dude, they stole it. And the sad part was I had that under my vest. It was with all my dirt by stuff. So that mean the dude opened the box, lifted it up, went through it, took it out, and then yeah, just stole it. And it's just like, oh, that's unacceptable. That was $35 a pair. And I would like to meet who the fuck was responsible, low key. Man, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. But uh, tomorrow morning, you guys, I got something new for the show as well. We're actually gonna be changing the graphics. Yes, this bike is gonna look different tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking this apart. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna basically take all this apart. Dead ass, uh, this coming off, this coming off. Shit, this coming off too. Yeah, we're gonna change the whole look of the bike. So you guys make sure you get a good look at this bike. Cause I promise you, it will not look the same when I'm done with it. I told you guys this channel was gonna be changing and I'm really, really excited about the new things I'm doing to the bike, so hell yeah. And one thing I'm getting good at is being organized, but you know what, I am glad they didn't take my tools. I'm glad they didn't steal that. I probably would've been butt hurt if they would've got me like that. I'd be like, damn, they don't play no games. But yeah, they totally stole my stuff, dude. Like, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I still can't believe it. Cause you would. All right, let's finish this up. But hell yeah, man. It it's hot as balls out here. <laughs> like, it is hot. But they said, oh, he was just telling me the winter gets bad out here, dude. He was like, dude, the winters get insane. I said, really? And then I told him how long we're gonna be here. He said, oh, you won't even see that then. I said, thank God. Like I said, younger, I feel like younger white people, they're pretty chill. You know what I mean? They're not really on that racist shit as hard. And if they are, they're pretty like covert with it, I guess. Just like y'all saw C-O-Y-Z, he was chill as fuck. Like, he was pretty cool. I'm still, I'm still kind of salty he didn't send me the GoPro footage of us riding. I'm like, come on, bro. You gotta send me some of that footage, man. Oh. <sighs> Seemed like it was pretty cool footage, but yeah, man. C-O-Y-Z, if you're watching this, man, shout out to you, man. Like I said, you was a cool ass dude. Zed ass. Especially to be a white boy. Or, I think he considered himself a redneck. I'm not really too sure. I didn't consider him one. I just, I consider everyone just regular human beings. I don't really try to label nobody. 
because it'd be too easy for people to label me. So that's how I kind of view it. But yeah, man, it is hot as fucking fish grease out here, dude. Like, dude, my, my, my wife just texted me. She was like, man, it's hot as balls. I said, I swear to God. Like I said, in Colorado, we didn't feel no humidity. Like, it felt good, but you would get burnt though. Out here, it's like, shit. But I did ask the neighbor about fireworks because I told him, man, my wife was totally considering getting some fireworks for the fourth, AKA I already got some. I don't know if I showed y'all that or not, but I definitely showed y'all the fireworks. Trust me, I got enough to send that bitch up on my mom. On my motherfucking mom. Let's go. Well, yeah, if y'all see with me, I treat people how they want to be treated. Wait, was the camera on my head when he walked up? I, I think that's all of them. All right, that's secure. And I'm pretty much done with the oil change, man. I will give you guys a test start, but it's hot as fuck. Ah, oh, fuck it, why not? This is Dirt Bike Channel. What I look like fixing a bike, but not cranking it for you guys to see it. In the next episode of Lamar KX, Okay. Lamar KX on YouTube. Matchy stream right now. I just moved in the neighborhood. What's up, man? How are you guys doing? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah.